Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this multi-part video series, we will focus on taking a single geometry from import all the way to volume mesh, showing you some tips and tricks along the way. In this first video, we will trim the geometry with a symmetry plane, remove some overlapping interfaces, and identify where we have laminate edges. Here we have our geometry, courtesy of Dwanel. I like this geometry. It's an interesting concept, and for the most part, it imported cleanly. All I've done so far is, is separate it out into layers. In the list panel, we can see that we have a few failed import groups. These groups get created when the import encounters an issue, and they are all in the tail fins. We will address these in a later video. The main body has two completely watertight models. Let's trim them both at the constant x-plane since this geometry is symmetric so that we only have to worry about meshing half of it. Go to create plane. We will use the constant x, y, or z option and let's make an x equals zero plane. Now we'll select both models, go into edit, trim by surfaces, and we'll select the plane for group B. We don't actually need to trim the plane, so we can deselect the trim B with A option and imprint. Now we're gonna go to apply and select. Let's line up our view, and holding both control and shift, we will very carefully draw an in selection box to deselect the minus X side. Now we need to split out those overlapping surfaces. Let's select the model and use the split toolbar icon. I'm going to line up my view with the X direction now and select all of the internal surfaces and then we can split them out. And we'll do the same thing for the rest of the body. Again, we'll go to split, carefully select the surfaces. And now I'm just gonna hide those surfaces. Now we can assemble everything. We'll go to create assemble models Use Control A to select everything and assemble. And it looks like we're still getting two separate models. So it looks like the bottom piece of the storage bay assembled, but there's still something going on with the top. And we also have a few laminate edges. We do expect some since we have free edges on the symmetry plane, but let's make sure we don't have any on the interior. We'll accept this for now. And with both models selected, we'll go into View Attributes. Let's set the color mode to by topology, and we're gonna increase the line width to 10. And once we update the display, we see that the quilt boundaries are now colored by whether they are laminar or manifold edges, just like in the assemble models panel. But they're also much e thicker and easier to see. And rotating and zooming in, we can clearly see that we have a gap in the surface, and that's what is preventing the upper surface from assembling. This will need to be defeatured and smoothed over. And we also see we have a few laminate edges on the bottom surface too. We will address both of these issues in later videos. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.